Hey everyone, my name is Lance 90 and welcome back to Let's Play Pine. Alright. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of the game here. Take a look around. So it's a living, breathing world, so as you can see, things are just fighting each other out here. <laughs> Now the exploration area. This is reflected on your compass. The goal is nearby. There's different factions and things, so I didn't really want to join into that combat in case uh, it affects a faction. Looks like these are respawn spots for loot her supplies too, because they're grayed out now, or redded out even. I'm happy to take the... Uh, the leftovers here, though. Probably a pretty good haul for the start of the game, I imagine. I don't know if I should be grabbing everything, because I'm sure our inventory space is limited, but still. Yeah, our pouch is full. <laughs> Hopefully I haven't made a huge mistake by grabbing too much stuff. Next goal is an exploration objective. Objectives can be found somewhere inside a marked area. Okay. And this is like the part of the game that I haven't really seen. I've seen a little bit, but like not everything. Back so soon, are we? Look concerned as far as I can tell with you humans. Something terrible happens. Oh my, another landslide? <laughs> Can't live on that cliff any longer. I need to find help. We need to move. Hmm, a new place to live. That may not be easy. This island is full of creatures much stronger and smarter than you and me. Or, well, smarter than you at least. You see, these tribes are fighting over the same territory and food. It's quite the mess out there sometimes. In fact, I was just here observing some of the villages. Because I don't even know who occupying them at this very moment. Could be the crockers, could be the litters, could be the kerblins. Here's my suggestion. Look for caches known as donation boxes. Used by all species to share and gift resources to each other in perilous times. I think that if you make an offer to a village, and then the village and then find that village, they might let you in, or even be able to help you. Okay, I will try. To be fair, I have very little business with all this. Us Tampas, we just we're just observing, learning, and studying from the comfort of our little house. I'll mark it on your map in the center of the island in case we ever need you. Your affinity relationships with species are tracked in the pause menu. Donation box can be found near villages along the roads near them. When donating, items will be transferred into the regarding village, while also affecting the relationships with all creatures of that kind. You can find the donation boxes on your map. So this is what I was getting to with the game is a lot more interesting than it looks at first glance because it has this relationship system with all these species and they're all anthropomorphic species as well. And it's also open world at this point. We could just go around, troll around, do whatever we want. It may not be wise. After all, all we have is a little wooden sword. Let's see, become friendly with any of the species on the island. Okay, now the music's a little loud, so let's take a peek here. Audio is actually fine for a while. It seems like now that we're in the exploration stuff, the music got cranked. Alright, so I think the first town, like, I think the town locations are always the same, but who is in that town is randomized. We'll just keep an eye out for supplies that we already have so that we can stack up higher, since we can't carry more. More different things, that is. And I don't even know if we should be... Okay, now we can't even carry more marble. So let's see what we got here. Or is the rest donation box? Affinities hostile... Hostile. 
Peter is like, no, there's no tutorial for this part. Uh -huh. Enter to admit retract an item. I don't know if we click and drag or what we do. I guess we gotta press enter. What am I most willing to part with? I guess like carrions. Oh wait, here we go. Orr's wrist valuation. Dry clay, avian pepper, sandstone, nuctus. And then it doesn't like these things. I guess I'll use dry clay. We found it for free, I suppose. I don't know if this is two different people or what's going on here. Like I said, now we're to where I don't know what's what. I don't know. I don't know if I need to make friends with both of these people or not. Let's start putting other stuff in here. No, no, no. See if anything affects the other people. Probably don't really want to get rid of that. Okay, so what I think is going on here, because I saw it go down a little bit with these people, I'm thinking that maybe these two people are opposed to each other, and this is the one the town belongs to. It's highlighted. So when we trade positive things to this people, it's giving negative changes to these people. That's my guess. <laughs> it does say it's a friendly village now, so... We'll give it a try. I think these things are important. Amphiscus Orb. Who do we got here? I think peacock people. I don't even know that there was peacock people. Ufo, if you're interested in our village's resources, talk with the trader. I don't know, there was cute peacock people. Only lately we're seeing the importance of Marwood to build things. Well, this is quite the tower. You can see them on the horizon. It seems to, in seems to indicate the wealth and population of this village. Do the flames on top indicate their size, perhaps? Totems of a village represent the species and strength of that village that occupies the territory. Gatherers from the village are constantly collect food from the area around the village and bring it to the totem. See, it's like really interactive with the world and stuff. That's really... it's really cool. <laughs> food is essential for producing new population and restoring the health of villagers when fighting. Like, you wouldn't think it would have this, like, interesting world system by the first look at this game. It just looks very simple and... It's really surprising and pretty cool. So where the village learn about its organization? Best mate just went gathering. Hope he brings me a nice puffle feather. I wonder if that's a hint that they like puffle feathers or something. I don't know if I need to talk to like everyone. Not sure everyone in the Appy is happy with humans walking around again. Discovered pollen fields. Must be the trader? Yuck, I have my share of strange creatures pass through my shop, but none like you. Then again, experience telling me the stranger the looks, the deeper the pockets. If they said a human would come by, they didn't prepare me for something like this fragile. Fragile? Well, yes, I don't think there are people in Alibrain that could not break those arms of yours. Do you get chicken arms? <laughs> Best thing I got for you is some ideas that could fit your size. I won't trade with you unless we're friends, though. Can't have my goods in the pot pockets of the, our enemies. The village trader will barter items and get, uh, that gatherers and traders have accumulated. They will also have special items such as ideas. Gatherers from the village constantly collect materials from the area 
around the village and bring it to the trader's table. Materials are essential for producing armor and expanding the village. Village traders are also marked on your map. Villages will only trade with you if you are friendly with their species, not even when you are only neutral. So they won't do it right now is, I guess, the gist of it. I want an inter-mechanism of wheels. Seems to display the relationship between these creatures. Looks like those in red are their foes, and green means allies, and white is neutral. The disc on the board will turn every time an affinity action is performed by the species, and that relationship between species are dynamic and change often. Like, it looks like they might not be at war with these guys anymore. I assume that was what was going on at the start. By the way, those look like fox ears right there. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, don't spread, don't spread, don't spread. <laughs> so hard to fight the urge. It looks like they have their own, like, special stuff. For whatever species they are, because they see like egg nests sitting around. I'm not really sure what exactly wants me to see next. Well, maybe this person. Maybe the giant person on the throne is the important person. Well, have I ever? Are my eyes deceiving me? A human and flesh and bone. Give me for the express consternation, but it has been decades since I, since anyone saw a human on this island. What do I call you, young one? My name is Hugh, and I've come from the the Unstable Cliffs. My tribe can no longer live there, so I've come to find refuge. I donated to your village, hoping to get help. Bah, I'll live to see this day. I might encourage you, but a place to live, that's not in my interest, I'm afraid. I have plenty of mouths to feed, as does everyone on the island. However, her nation did not go unnoticed, and I thank you for that wholeheartedly. Not everyone will share the peaceful interest that I have for humans. And you look weary and unprepared for what seems to be a burdensome task. I shall have our village trader retrieve an old shield from our stock, one that should fit your hands. Perhaps explore our village in the meantime, as there should be plenty to learn from a creature like you. The shield should be ready when you are ready to leave. A shield. Hopefully we'll be able to handle it. But you've gotten this far. I shall also think about what I can do to reach your goal. It's high time someone or something stirs the daily grind on albumware. Nah. Tell me back when you have received your shield. Give me the shield. Should probably start testing to see like if there's fall damage. That wasn't really a fall, I guess, but yeah, I'll find out sooner or later. Alright, this looks sturdy. Enough lawyering. I should probably ask the chief for some more pointers. Shield can protect you from incoming attacks. Press a inner blocking state by pressing right mouse button. You can't hold up your shield forever over time. And th through incoming attacks, your shield stamina will deplete. Some attacks cannot be blocked at all. Aside from stamina, different shields also have different exhaustion rates and regeneration speeds. So is it its own separate... Oh, I guess I have to equip it. Somehow. There we go. I don't know if I should pull out my weapons in town, though. We'll have to experiment with that later. Why well, you found a shield, young human? Still, you look like a brittle teen flower I could snap in half before breakfast. I passed around a bit, and I realized there's someone more capable than us to help you with gearing up. Oh, who's that? The name was Grob, one of the Manoth. Nobody has seen them for ages, but apparently he's still alive. Word is that he resides in the Pollen Pass between the Shore Cliffs and the Sparse Fields. Finding him may not be easy. He has enough experience with human gear to at least give it a shot. I will try to th find him. Thank you. Surely you will. You've gotten this far. Boha. Good luck, human. Alright. Explore the Pollen Pass. It's like auto auto moving my mouse around, which is interesting. There. Right. I don't know if we even want to 
get involved again, but let's take a look here. And that's definitely a fox. Not gonna get involved. I don't know if you know, I don't know how smart the game is, basically. <laughs> like, you know, in like Fallout New Vegas, if you kill someone, your uh status with them goes down automatically, even if no one saw it. I don't know if that's how it is in this game. Does it matter if someone sees it or not, or does it is it just always an effect? Let's not take sides until we have to, is my thinking. And again, I want to be friends with the foxes. <laughs> I have kind of a bad feeling, though, that they may just be, like, built-in antagonist people, but we'll see. Right, so I think this is where it wants us to go. Quick look around. Round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Amphiscus Orb. Alright. This is where the Legend of Zelda style elements start coming into play. Sharp arrows, I see ya. Edgewood bow. Surprised it's not already telling us about the bow. Let's see. Equipment. Replaces the slingshot. No, it's not telling us about bows for some reason. The thing with bows is that they have a uh, limited ammo, unlike the uh, slingshot. But. Well, let's find out about fall damage. But they do a lot more damage. Okay, so it's not like really strict fall damage, at least, you know? Wedgewood wrist guard, wedgewood tunic, wedgewood pants, wedgewood leg guards, pewter brew, soft glass, pouches full. Okay. That's a lot of stuff. Guards and shin guards. And I'd rather have the slingshot just so I'm not wasting ammo. Marwood, Grand Cone, Stiff Rope. Stiff Rope, Stuff Cloth, Gravel Moss. Okay. Power. Yeah, there is a wrist rope. Tight rope around the wrist to make being around trees less straining. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Bring your gear and tools might be the key to survive. Oh, okay, we already have those done. So with one stiff rope, we could make the Wedgewood Tuning. I suppose we might as well all it takes is uh, Marwood to make the stuff. We gotta drop something, though. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's anything for Dull Rock. Definitely need a bigger backpack. Okay. I can pick it back up though after I make this tunic. There we go. Oh, I guess we want to keep that dropped so we can grab the soft glass. 
keep pressing tab. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of games that use tab lately. Alright. I don't know if that's all it wanted from me here. I'm hearing like gunfire. Of all things. Seemed like those foxes were using at least like a smoke screen or something. Let's see, there's a chest up here, and then there's like a if we can get into this chest yet, but... Might as well give it a shot. Alpha mirror key required. Okay. okay. No damage from that fall of a far of a drop, but that's okay. if it wants me to go down in here or what. Yeah, it looks like it wants me to go somewhere up here. Zoom on this map? Yes. <laughs> yep, there's the fox fighting the fighting the chicken again. Stay out of it. Zor's rest again. Okay. So yeah, these two are hostile with them is what's going on there. is definitely destroying them. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Um, I don't want to take sides yet. Alright, let's check down here. This will be a better test of fall damage as well. Right here. Seems like we're good. Hopefully this is where we need to go. Okay, what do we got going on down here? Got whatever this is. Can't seem to interact with it. I might be able to force it, but I don't want to spend a bunch of uh, stamina trying to make it work. all of a sudden. <laughs> hmm. 
in awe of the size of this lad. Absolute unit. Um, hello? A human in my cavern? Oh, happy days. It's been ages. You must be Grob? Sure am. You have no idea how long I haven't had any company and from a human nonetheless. You never leave this cavern? Nah, the outside world is not for me anymore. Everyone is occupied with their own problems. There's a total lack of community. Apart from you humans, I could only bear my sister's presence, but she's not been around. She's not been seen for a long time. There are more of you? Well, there used to be plenty of us, but we retreated as the islanders grew more hungry for power every day. Anyway, you came for some business, I hope? I was told to come and find you for some protective gear or some tools. Ouch, haven't done those in a long time. Gave my last human creations to someone like you, but that was ages ago. He was a friend. I believe he used to hide in an abandoned watchtower nearby. Oh, I've already done that. <laughs> I created gear, tools, but, he also, but also chests to hide belongings in. In return, he brought me these shiny orbs. I love them. You should go to his hideout. Maybe you'll find some human belongings there. And before I forget, all my chests came with a tiny key. You'll need graphite, key graphite to make them. I'll write them down for you. Okay, I'll try to find it. Thanks for stopping by, human. Please pay me a visit sometime. Key graphite is a finite material. Use it to craft alabamere keys, which can be found in remote and hard-to-reach places. Well, I have some stuff. There was a watchtower again. You forget to look looking at west to the exit of the caverns. You should stumble upon it. Looks like it's maybe not going to let us... Not gonna let us talk to him right away about equipment, even though we already went to the watchtower. I didn't realize I did things out of order. Let's go out the way we came. some destruction upon this place. There's gotta be a way to get up there, but I guess that's probably late game stuff. Guess we're gonna find out if we can take this torch outside. Nope. It's okay. Just curious. So I guess that's why it didn't give us a tutorial on the bow, because we had the things out of sequence. Try to get up with, up this without jumping. <laughs> All right. Those are powerful ranged weapons, but require ammo to shoot. All creatures on the island have weak spots, hitting those result in powerful critical hits. stuff to be found here. Yeah, there's notes here. This note must have been written by that human. Day 166. I met with some of the leaders of the vault villages. I've been charting the shortest routes and that connect those ancient places for months now. Bolts are very important for a bright future ahead. I've also found that crafting a power brew gets you inside any village. Chiefs really love them. Bolts, what are those? They sound like there might be some answers there. Maybe they provide a place to live? I should visit those. This human marked them on the map. Yeah, multiple adventures ahead. Track and untrack quests from the goals to have access by escape. I'll try bringing a power brew to appeal to the vault chief's village. Okay. Alright, and this is about where I've seen the game. I haven't seen anything past this point, really. So if you've enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and keep the conversation going in the comments. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.